In this video, I will demonstrate tracking exceptions in your application using Telerik Analytics. I have a WPF project ready that contains three buttons in a window. Each of these three buttons triggers an exception. The first button triggers a divide by zero exception, the second one triggers an index out of range exception, and the third one triggers a null reference exception. I already have an analytics monitor set up in this application. Let's take a quick look at the creation of the monitor instance in the app.xaml.cs file. Here you can see that I initialized my monitor settings to indicate that I'm running version 1 of the software. Let's return to the code file of our main window and add the exception tracking code. You can see that in the window constructor, I'm pulling the monitor instance so that I can make use of it in my exception code. In order to track an exception, you need to add a track exception statement and pass in the exception object. Let's repeat this code for the other two exceptions. Let's run our application and start triggering these exceptions. I will trigger the divide by zero exception twice. You can also see from my application output that the exceptions are occurring. Let's trigger the index out of range and the null reference exception once. I've let a little time pass to allow for the analytics data to be processed. Let's change our filter to retrieve live data. Access the exception report from the developer report section in the left hand menu. In this report, you can see the three types of exceptions that were thrown by our application. You can also see that our divide by zero exception occurred two times. We can drill into the exception to view the message and the stack trace. We can also choose to resolve the exception for this version of the application by clicking on the Resolve button and entering an optional comment. Let's now access the details of the null reference exception. In the cases where you expect to see an exception from time to time, you can choose to ignore it. Let's go back to our application and increment our application version and run the application once more. Remember that we resolved the divide by zero exception and ignored the null reference exception. Let's go ahead and trigger each of these exceptions one more time. Moving back to the Telerik portal, we can see that the divide by zero exception status has been updated to reopened and that the occurrence count has also been incremented. Viewing the details of this exception shows us that the number of affected versions is 2. The null reference error being ignored has not been reopened. Another handy report is the exception timeline. This report shows you the individual exception occurrences over time, the average number of exception occurrences for a session, as well as the number of newly encountered exceptions over time. This concludes this overview of tracking exceptions with Telerik Analytics. Remember that with Telerik Analytics, your first application is always free for the lifetime of your application for up to 100 installations. Learn more about Telerik Analytics on our website at www.telerik.com analytics.